Man, you gotta understand that's his that's his fighter. You know, he's gonna he's gonna say anything that he can to hype it up. You know, he knows that guy lost, and and so do his team, and so do he. The mega fight between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov just went down as one of the most controversial bouts of this year. Terence Crawford edged the victory on points, but here comes the juicy part. The judges got it wrong, not a shocker. When you're the face of boxing, the judges are gonna sway the dub towards you no matter what. And let's just say our guy Eddie Hearn isn't too happy about this. Madrimov fights under Matchroom, which is Hearn's promotion. So seeing his fighter put in all the work and not get the victory he deserved is not something Eddie Hearn is going to let slide. But hey, Eddie Hearn messed with the wrong guy because what Terence Crawford did next sent the entire fight community into a frenzy. It was already getting heated between Eddie and Bud during the buildup of this fight, but now with Eddie Hearn discrediting Crawford's win, Bud turned to more drastic measures to shut him up. Both guys crossed paths backstage after the fight, and Terence Crawford didn't waste a single second before going beast mode on Eddie Hearn. Crawford didn't just get him with a slap, no, he was landing the same punches he did in the ring with Madrimov. Crawford got him pretty good. If it weren't for the security, it would have been much worse for Eddie Hearn. But hey, you can't blame Eddie for stating the facts. Yep, facts. That's what he did to deserve a beatdown. Well, I can hoop. I'm probably still better than you at hooping as well. But I'm definitely you better, better than You ain't better than me in nothing. Darts. And talking, that's it. Talking? So you talk a good game. You ain't darts. better than me in nothing. Darts. Nothing. Darts. Nothing. Darts. Today. Eddie Hearn didn't hold back when breaking down what went down in the ring. Terence Crawford, the pound-for-pound pound number one fighter, nearly got taken down by a guy with only 10 pro fights. That's like saying LeBron almost lost to a high school player. Serious shade. Israel Madrimov put Crawford's skills to the test, revealing some serious weaknesses. Now, Eddie Hearn is shining a spotlight on this reality. Crawford barely scraped by, and the buzz among pros and fans alike is that it should have been at least a draw. Very close main event. Obviously, uh, heard what I said. I would say as well, I didn't realize there was two 115, 113s, one 116, 112. I thought there was two 116, 112s. I thought Israel Madrimov did enough to edge it tonight. I know there's the, always the argument of dethroning the champion, whether you think that's a thing or not. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure I felt that Bud Crawford dethroned Israel Madrimov tonight, but what we are is extremely proud of him. Ten fights in, and we're debating whether he won a fight against the pound for pound number one. Um, experience would have changed everything. Maybe a little bit more work rate, but it was a fight that we believe we could have edged. Respect to Terence Crawford, he's a great champion. It's nothing against him, but I was just disappointed that, especially one of the judges gave Crawford the last four rounds. The other two judges gave um, Crawford three of the last four rounds and um, thought it could have been different. Terence Crawford is not the threat everyone was making him out to be. The last four rounds were when things began to spice up. Madrimov was piecing up Bud. But guess what? One of the judges gave the last four rounds to Bud. Now that's insane. Especially when during the last round Crawford's corner was screaming to him that he has to win the last round or else he's going to lose. By the way, but it's like when so many people thought Madrimov won as well, now maybe not as many as Crawford, but a lot of people, and a lot of people scored it a draw. I just disappointed his champion that he got no respect on the scorecards. One of the, one of the judges gave Crawford the last four rounds. One of the, or the other two judges gave Crawford three of the last four rounds. And the corner, Crawford's corner was so quiet and they sent him out for that 12th round. Eddie Hearn was making sure the world knew what went down and Crawford had to step in to set things straight. Check out what Bud had to say after Eddie Hearn took shots at him. Man, you gotta understand, that's his, that's his fighter, you know? He's gonna, he's gonna say anything that he can to hype it up, you know? He knows that guy lost and and so do his team, and so do he. The funny part is, even Bud knows he didn't deserve that win. Did you guys catch his post-fight interview? 
That's not how a real champ talks. He gave Madrimov his flowers because, let's be real, it's been a while since Bud has stepped into the ring with someone who gave him a real run for his money. I felt great. It was, it was no different from 147, to be honest. Uh, Israel just was a strong uh, opponent. You know, we knew that coming in the gate. The right hand wasn't bothering me. You know, I wasn't really too much worried about the right hand. You know, he, he landed a couple of times at the end of the round where, where he was trying to steal it around. But um, I just was trying to uh, counter, counter him, but at the same time, he had a good game plan. He had a lot of feints, and I was just trying to dictate when he was going to come. A lot of times I was wrong. I was touching him up with the jab. I think my jab was beating him up uh, uh, all through the fight, but, you know, he, he landed a couple of... Uh, right hands that was telling for the the judges to go or the fans, but it wasn't nothing that I ain't never seen before. Terrence Crawford's good friend, Mike Tyson, showed up to catch this mega fight live. But imagine the disappointment when the heavyweight legend was spotted leaving the arena before the fight even ended. Yeah, Tyson did not like what he saw. When asked who he thought would win, Mike kept a straight face and dodged the question. What do you think? Did you give it to tough, tough fight? Tough fight. Right. Nice to meet you, man. Well, they haven't announced the winner, but who do you expect to win, Mike? How's the training coming along? Ryan Garcia kept it real. He went on a full-blown rage rant, not holding back one bit, while trash-talking Terrence Crawford. But trust me, Garcia might think twice before running his mouth again once he hears what went down with Eddie Hearn after he talked smack about Bud. Terrence Crawford is not the guy you want to end up on the bad side of. He's got a way of making people regret their words. Crawford is trash. Don't ever compare Crawford to Canelo again. Shout out young Triple G. He did his I felt he won. At least a draw. F the judges. F you weirdos. You guys suck ass. And f Crawford, you're not pound for pound. Suck a d You never fought nobody good. You fought Spence that had a car accident. F you bitch. Devin Haney gave his honest thoughts on the fight. And surprisingly, Haney was impressed with Bud's performance. He even said Terrence Crawford could beat Canelo Alvarez. Now, that's a little far-fetched if you ask me. Um, it's Magic Mouse putting up a good fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fight. My bad, sis. I'm, I'm blocking you up. Yeah, um, Crawford looks good at 154 right there, so far. See, uh, hey, right there, a little other side. Yeah, yeah. Crawford, he's, 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 the weight is showing, but Crawford is Crawford. He's handling the weight well then, for sure. Um, just based on what you're seeing right now, if he was in there with Canelo, that would be two more weights up. Depending on where he comes in, like 160, 160. Crawford, 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 Crawford. 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 Hey, Devin, would you be surprised? Hey, Devin, one more, y'all. We good, we good, we good. We good for the rest of it, man. Thank you. On the other hand, Lomachenko stood on business and said Madrimov should be the champion. He was highly stunned by Madrimov's performance and believed he had done enough to win that fight. But hey, boxing is a game, and not everyone is playing fair. Very close fight. Yeah? yeah. Did you have Israel winning? But it was, uh, it was a very interesting fight, very smart fight. So how about compare my fight with Haney? Ah. Madrimov was a champion. Yeah. So it's enough for win mm -hmm. the title? Yeah. Now, let's see what the main man, Israel Madrimov, had to say about his loss. Madrimov kept his head up high. Sure, he might have lost on paper, but he's definitely the people's champ without a doubt. It's not every fight we see a guy like Terence Crawford barely survive. This one was different, and Madrimov made sure of that. I felt, I felt good. I, I felt proud of myself, and I think I did enough, like Eddie said. Um, you know, Spence is really good. He's pound for pound best. He's, he's one of the best in the world. Um, he was, uh, he's not an easy fight. You know, he knocked out the last 10 opponents he fought, Spence and others, you know, the best in the world. Um, I, didn't, I didn't feel like it was my toughest fight. Uh, you know, there were some questions about how easy I won my world championship uh, belt in my previous fight. And I think in this fight, I just proved uh, why I was easy then and why I'm a champion and why I deserve to be a champion. But they've got to run it back because now blood could not be any colder. 
Eddie Hearn is going to make sure the rematch happens so he can get his revenge on Terence Crawford. Hearn is not the type of guy to let any disrespect slide. And Crawford attacked him. That's crossing a limit. Whatever side you're on, one thing's for sure. This is a story we won't forget anytime soon. And it's a reminder that in the world of boxing, anything can happen. Respect the fighters or be ready to face the consequences. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.